Hello, this is Miss Steinbaugh, and I'm making a little bit more of a video on this assignment where you are going to be creating five different value scales using five different pencil applications and then drawing an object and shading it using the whatever pencil application you like over here. So I wanted to do a little more explanation because it has been, oh, like six months since you've been in your previous art classes. So I'm going to use a piece of copy paper and I'm just going to mess around with different ways to mark on the paper with my pencil. And I might do somewhere I'm using the side. I might do somewhere I make cross hatching and go different directions. I might do the stippling where you make lots and lots of little dots. I like to do that with pen better than I like to do with pencil, but it's one to be thinking about. You can also think about making lines that are straight and then filling in between. Basically, when you're doing marks on your paper with your pencil, uh, the more you do closer together, the darker it's going to get. And of course, there's the, the whole pressure thing. I can scribble and have things go all different sorts of directions and then have fewer and fewer marks to get darker. Uh, fewer and fewer marks to get lighter and I was already thinking about going darker so I, when I scribble that's kind of fun because then I can really jam marks into all those little different spaces. And we all have our favorite kinds of mark makings with our pencils. And we've got cross hatching that can curve. You can also think about writing. If you just write a word over and over again, I'm writing what I just said, but I can't say it and write it at the same time. And if that makes a mark on a page, that makes an interesting kind of texture. So anyway, play around a little bit. Then on your piece of paper, and I'm using a nine by 12 drawing paper, make yourself some little boxes. I don't know, that's probably inch and a quarter by two and some. Make yourself some little boxes. Practice, warm up, making value scales. Value is the darkness and lightness and the mediums of all of the shading and it also includes color. Well, let's see if I like anything here. I actually like the written word one, but I'll probably, I don't know. I'm going to start with the scribble because it's always my favorite. Now, control. I'm going to keep my scribble inside the box. Because when you're shading an object or you're shading a drawing, you want to have a certain amount of control to have the, the shading go where you want it and not have it go places where you have to do a lot of erasing. This is just hand-eye coordination and fine motor skills. And I want to see how dark I can get it on this side. I'm going to really bear down and fill in with my number two. If I really wanted to get dark, I would use an ebony pencil. Those ebony design pencils were uh, B6 or a B8, but I'm using what I have today. Okay. I'm getting that transition, and then I'm going to stop over there, and I'll probably do some cross hats. I want to keep my crosshatch nice and loose. But again, I'm like stopping on the edge of the outline and coming in because I want it to uh, go. Oh, here's a trick. For those of you who didn't have me for drawing one last year, take your ID, put it along the side of your. Oh, well, hang on, I got a strong sunlight here. Put it along the side of your edge and then you can do those aggressive crosshatch marks and not have them go out of your box.
you notice as I'm getting lighter, I'm backing up my fingers on the pencil. So I'm actually holding my pencil farther away from the tip. Oh, this is the object I'm going to draw. That's why it's sitting there. And I thought this would have really nice uh, shading and it's got some textures and some smooth parts and I think I can have fun with this whole outline of this shape. So, okay. I'm gonna take a little break and keep working on this and then I'll come back and do the rest of it, this section over here.